Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel, live and direct, live in effect. Make sure you subscribe to find out what's next. We are here. First and foremost, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. His, the anniversary of his death is this Saturday. Just wanted to put that out there. All right. So, NXT last night dropped two game-changing announcements. After Sunday, I was out of here with the game-changing announcements considering fact how disappointed I was. But, make sure I kept myself positive, keep the head high, and let's see what they would. Let's see what they'd be. Now, I've been hearing rumors of what they could could have been, and um, lo and behold, the rumors were true. So the first game-changing announcement was that there will be an NXT TakeOver on WrestleMania week. But it will be a two-night event. And um, that one's kind of scarce because of the fact that... I don't know if NXT has the ability to do that. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But I can guarantee you that TakeOver is going to be more random than any TakeOver has ever been. Because think about it. TakeOver is a five-match minimum pay-per-view. Five matches minimum. It's been like that since... It's been like that since NXT started taking, over, taking off with their TakeOvers. It's just been five matches, period. It'd be two grudge matches... And then the final three would be title matches. Now, since there's double the double the nights, it's pretty much gonna it's pretty much gonna be it's it's pretty much gonna be ten matches in total, which is a lot. And I don't know how NXT is gonna be able to build that up because right now, I know it's gonna be takeover. Based on what we've seen last night, the four matches that I think we all know is going to happen. It's going to be Adam Cole versus Kyle O'Reilly. It's going to be Io Shirai and uh, Raquel Gonzalez for the NXT Women's Championship. It's going to be Johnny Gargano versus Dexter Loomis for the North American title. And, of course, Finn Balor versus Karrion Cross for the NXT title. I think though all four of those matches are confirmed. I think all four of those matches are going to happen on TakeOver. They have to. They have to now. Because now it just looks like you don't have anything. So, what else could be on there? We'll see within the time. Because it's supposed to be, what, April... Was it April 7th and April 8th? Uh, night 1 will be on USA. And then Night 2 will be exclusively on Peacock. So... It's pretty much like, if you enjoyed night one, please subscribe to Peacock to see night two. <laughs> it's pretty much how it's going to be. Um, I see it being a complete clusterfuck, truthfully. Um, I'm being serious. I feel like this is about to be a complete failure. And I hate that. Because NXT has tried its best to be as good as possible. And it's had its faults, of course. It's like, it's like, just like any wrestling company has their faults or any whatever it is has their faults NXT has theirs with a two night event that you don't really have much to go with I don't know how well that's going to work and speaking of faults announcement number two was NXT has now introduced Women's tag team titles. Hmm. Now here is where the fault is. NXT has a very good women's division. They've always had a good women's division. Since, you know, Sasha, Charlotte, Bailey, and Becky were there. They always had a good women's division and that was back dating back 2014 that's how good their women's division was 
The problem with their women's division now is there's only maybe 10, maybe 12 notable women. Tell that 12. And majority of them are singles competitors. You know what I'm saying? Like, within those 12, there's only three teams. What um what do we what are we what are we doing here? <laughs> because are you telling me that you created you created tag team belts and you expect them to be defended on a regular basis, which knowing NXT they probably will be. The problem is you don't have any women's tag teams to begin with. And here is where NXT truly begins to start looking like WWE. Because what is the legit purpose of these titles? Because, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship supposed to cross to NXT? But because of a technicality from last week, no longer is that the case. So we just had to make our own titles. Let me explain something to you. NXT doesn't have any women's tag teams like that. That's the one fault. That's probably that's probably the only fault NXT probably has. One of the only faults NXT has is the fact that they have no women's tag teams, but they didn't really need they didn't really need that because their women's division was already solid. But they can do they could they could make something happen and then let the women's tag team championships manifest themselves to NXT at some point but beyond that what do you have all you have is what well, let's see who you who, all you got is Shotzi you got Shotzi number moon who just became a tag team pretty much out of nowhere you got Raquel and Dakota, the only legit tag team you got. And you have uh, Caden and Casey. That's it. There's nobody else. You have no other tag teams. Everybody else is single single wrestler base. Let me think about it. You got Io Shirai. I mean, you also got The Way. I forgot I forgot about The Way. You also got The Way. You got uh, uh, Candice and India. I forgot you got those two. They probably can go after them. But you got Io Shirai, you got Mercedes Martinez, you got Tony Storm, you got, um, as I said, Ember Moon, Shashi Blackheart, Dakota Kai, Raquel Gonzalez. You got um, there's Io, um, Zia Lee. Uh, there's two in my head, and I can't think of their names right now. I can't think of their names right now. I can't think of their names right now. <laughs> I'm just going to quit on I can't think of their names right now. But beyond that, that's all you have. And not many are tag teams, or we don't even know them. If you looked at that first segment on NXT, how many of those women do you really know? Not many, because W because I'm about to say WWE. Well, I mean NXT is WWE, so screw it. NXT has not put them on the has not put them out there for them to be noted. Like, um, what the fuck is the name? Um, Storm, Storm, right? No, I forgot her name already. The one I had the debut, the one I had the match with um, EO last week. Damn, I forgot her name already. But see, that's my point. That was her only. That wasn't her only match, but she's had three matches and that's it. I, she needs more exposure. She's good, but she needs more exposure. That's the point. Your women's division is good, but each one of those women need to be exposed. They need, they need to be out there on TV. So we can know them. And if you're trying to create tag teams, you might as well. And I realize, uh, damn, what's his name? What's this dude's name? I forgot his name already. Damn, I'm not thinking. <laughs> I'm not thinking today. The Rob Stone, the Rob Robert Stonebrand. Um, he got he got a tag team too. Okay, so we got okay, so we got five tag teams so far. That's not enough for for this. It's not enough. This made no sense to create, bro. It made no sense to create these NXT Tag Team Championships. You just 
You should just allow the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Championships to just be circulated all 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 over three brands. You should have just kept it that way because now it looks worse because now the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships are only exclusive to both Raw and SmackDown, and neither one of those brands have tag teams to begin with. I mean, think about it. next Sunday at Fastlane, we're gonna get Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks again going after those titles. Why? They lost. Last, they lost. What was that? Two weeks ago, at Extreme at an Elimination Chamber. What? Why do they need another match? Why do they need another match? I don't. Well, the other I guess the other upside is I guess now the women's tag team championships will have a match on Takeover. So that's five. So that's pretty much five matches that are pretty much good are pretty much good for um for NXT takeover for at least night one but but all those matches probably won't be on night one like probably they'll be spread between both nights but regardless <laughs> regardless oh man these um I'm not. I'm not liking these game-changing announcements. These, are, these are, God, these are, these are crazy. Oh, and here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez became NXT Tag Team Champ. They became the first ever NXT Tag Team Champions, which is fine because they won the uh, first ever Women's Dusty Cup, which is fine. I I understand it. No problem. That's cool. That's great. Guess what happened the same night? They lost those titles the same night. Real smooth NXT. <laughs> you couldn't even build. You couldn't even build up those titles. <laughs> you 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 changed people in a matter of an hour. In a matter of an hour, those titles changed hands. That is such beautiful booking. <laughs> oh fuck, man. <laughs> But it was to build. What it was. What it was to set up. EO versus Raquel, which is fine. I've been waiting for that match. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that when we cross that bridge. But right now, what we're looking at is could be somewhat of a disaster, and um, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for NXT to start crumbling into a pile of dust. It is what it is, though. <laughs> We'll see what it looks like. We'll see down the line where it goes. And we'll see how the takeover card goes. But, yeah. So, until then, it's been Rose, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love support. As always, you already know we here. Like, comment, subscribe for whatever the case is. You already know how we here. You already know how we do. So, until next time, peace, love, want it. Yurt.